the pieces for one thing. All right. So we're here with Mason, BTP Assembler Mason, and he's putting together a Chaos War Shrine. Yep. Which is one of the most complicated models in the range. It really is actually like. Sean's kind of joking right now, but it is kind of obnoxious the way that the things kind of yeah, get so do it in a certain order. Mason's going to give you some tips in case you ever come up against this particular model. Yep. And let's go. Go so tell, tell them all first about First start it. off, just put the, the ogre mutants or whatever you want to call these guys together first. Okay. Just kind of get the gist of them. Right. Because um, their arms are kind of funky. Like, to get yeah. them in the right position, you have to have everything else assembled, and then you put them on underneath. Okay. So, it's kind of annoying like that. So, you put those like guys together first. Yep. The arms, like this tentacly arm especially, is really obnoxious to get it to actually in the right position. Okay. Um, da, da, da. What are By the way, here? this is what it looks like done. Yep. So, there you go. Looking good. And this is why. So, like, their arms are in very weird positions, and their feet as relative to the base. So you have right. to actually get... Well, I, I like it fills, that their so. hands aren't actually fused to the thing, or are One they? One of them is. One of so them like actually, that actually is. actually is on there. Okay. It's a thumb. All right, so you can't just use that guy separately for uh, whatever no. reason. Well, okay. Well, you could. So, but... and then, then, so then you put the howda part together. Yeah. So I'm going to have to finagle this to actually get this on correctly now. Right, so do you actually stick... Now, I'd like to point out that if you use plastic glue, yes. you've got a lot of leeway because you can like pull it apart. You, you've got like maybe three minutes to pull it apart, put it back together Yeah. before it starts becoming intractable. So you can see kind of where his hands are supposed to go, just like that. We right. can see that his feet, so just test fitting it. Okay, so, yeah. look at that. Now, I'd also like to point out, if you, if you mm -hmm. had a model similar to this, and the feet weren't even, yep. you can always put something under the feet yeah. and make it like Just a Just put a piece of slate or something. On something. That adds then to Then you're like, too, uh, it was cooler that way. <laughs> I meant to do that. Totally did. I've never done that, Sean. I've never had to do that. Never pulled that trick? <laughs> well, this is really an exquisite model, guys. And you see how, like, in his hands, he actually has, like, the ribbing of this horn thing in there. Oh, So it actually, oh, wow. like, insets into it. So it's actually so, kind of okay, nifty. But it's very specific where it needs yep, to go. it is. Yeah, right. And another tip is don't put on so much plastic glue that it spooges out the edge. No, you just want just, you just enough want just for it to connect, really. Right. Uh, less really is more when it comes to plastic yeah, glue. Yeah, especially because if you get the good plastic glue, which I actually prefer... The red this stuff. This red testers that you right. get from hobby stores and things like that because it dries fast and it dries really good. All right. Hey, thanks a lot, Mason. Much appreciated. Yeah. All right, BTP fans, you heard it here first. The first ever location to show you the one and only correct way <laughs> to put together a Chaos War Shrine.